If a doctor warns you that you have to watch your drinking, find a bar with a mirror. Okay, that's great. So in the robot and the dog waddle. Oh, oh. I'm back. It's Sherry from The Watering Mouth. Thank you so much. Can you tell I've had four drinks already? I have another DIY shot glass recipe for you that's super fun. Here we go. Peppermint shot glasses. That's right. You can totally make these ahead of time and you can use whatever kind of liquid that you want in there. Just make sure that the temperature of the liquid that you're using is roughly the same temperature as the glass, otherwise it will crack. That may or may not have happened to me. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys how to make them. Start by setting your oven to 300 degrees and cut some squares of parchment paper, put them on a cookie sheet. Unwrap some of your candies. You'll need seven for each one. Arrange them tightly in a little flower shape so that there's no spaces in between. Otherwise you'll have holes in your cups and nobody wants that. Throw them in your oven for 10 to 15 minutes and keep an eye on them to make sure they melt flat. In the meantime, take a break for lip syncing. Remove them from the oven, take another dance break. Now here's where you're gonna get ready for the heat, all right? I had a beer nearby on purpose for drinking, but also for keeping my fingers cold because working with these things is difficult. So remove them from the pan and let them cool for about 10 seconds. And just to show you here, we're gonna take this middle one and line it up with the bottom of the shot glass overturned here. So then once it's cooled a bit, peel it off and just slap it right on the glass. It's so hot and I had to take some breaks to touch the um, beer glass and shake my fingers out because they're really, really super hot. So make sure that this is not the part your kids do. <laughs> and then gently shape it down over the glass and within just about 10 seconds, it will be um, hardened to the point where you can't move it anymore and it'll be the right shape. I'm gonna show you again another one. See, I had let it cool a little bit to this stage. Um, otherwise, it's a little too melty. It, it turns out like a dolly painting or whatever. Um, you wanna get it to this little state here where it's a bit cooler and you can still work with it. And once they've cooled enough to handle, you can pop them right off the bottom of the shot glass. They come out perfectly. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Was that fun or what? And now for the piece de resistance. How do you shoot liquor from these? You're wondering, I know you're wondering, so let me show you. I just happen to have a little container here of Irish cream and some coffee liqueur left over from something before. And uh, my dad always taught me not to waste Food, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use it here for, um, you know, the sake of my budget and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure you guys would encourage me to do the same. So, <laughs> just make sure that the temperature of the cup roughly matches the temperature of the liquid you're using and then you won't get any crackage and liquid all over your new Christmas pants. Pour, shoot. That's how it's done. Shot number five. Okay, I'm gonna mix up with some of that peppermint and make it a pepperminty drink. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or sign up for my email newsletter. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your year. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. So I did a lot of different testing and here are the fails. I tried them like this and they just turned out really ugly and disgusting. And then I tried to actually turn that into a shot glass and it just wasn't the right shape. I mean, it worked, but not very well. Plus, they were super ugly, so I just ate the fails. The end. Nice. And